he's always ready to pump people up. He's always happy. He seems to always have a smile on his face, which certainly uh, is contagious and puts smiles on other people's faces. He makes us laugh a lot. So laughing is a great way to live, and he's brought a lot of laughter into our house. Meet Simon Roussel, a senior at Mandeville High School, which is about 35 miles north of New Orleans. Simon was born with Down syndrome, something more than 400,000 people in the United States were born with. Cognitive delays were expected with Simon, but his skills and strengths would never be in question. His speech is difficult to understand, so he's got some challenges, but they're not challenges to him, you know. I mean, he just figures out a way to get his point across. Well, Simon has been involved with our football program for several years. He uh, goes to practices as a manager. Uh, he's on the sidelines. Simon's been with this with this group in high school for six years, and he's been there every day, and <clears throat> they've opened their arms to him. It's that stellar attendance at school and with the football team that led to the planning of an unforgettable event during the final game for Mandeville's freshman football team. Team. Just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Simon's mom called me and, and asked about whether or not Simon could dress out for one day and maybe, you know, get into, get into practice or something. You know, so she'd come out and take some pictures of him and things like that. And I'd, I'd tell her, so maybe we can do a little bit better than that. So just, you know, just hang on and let me let me see what we can do. Coach Neihart had to make a few calls, one to Mandeville freshman head coach Paul Pye and another to the opposing coach that week, Slidell's Larry Favre. To no surprise, both conversations ended with green lights. Simon was going to suit up. We uh, kind of brought it on to him before at the pregame meal that we have uh, before the games. And I just told Simon to come over here and, and asked him, I said, Simon, you want to dress out today? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, so he was just, just beaming and excited. The 21-year-old wore the number five for the game between Mandeville and Slidell. He gave the team a pep talk before the game. Hey, hey. And then prepared for a magical opening kickoff. Man, Simon is just, it's like he's, he's supposed to do that. You know, it's like it was a natural thing for him. And you know what, he was, he was born to, to be an athlete. This whole story is about Mandeville High School football people. The students, they, they high five him and the coaches. So to me, the whole story is about these wonderful people. And, um, and just how lucky that Simon's been to be a part of their school. If you think about Simon and, and you're having a bad day, it kind of helps cheer you up, you know, knowing that you don't have, you've got it worse than everybody. You gotta think about other people too. And my kids in my class, I know they get sick and tired of me saying, you know, what day it is. It's another great day at Mandeville High. So, uh, and tomorrow's gonna be another great day. Simon's the epitome of the great kid. You know, he's always, he, he's always cheerful, he's always, um, you know, happy, he's always smiling.